In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of how we support automatic provisioning of accounts in Okta. Here is a, a task um, and this is where I'm going to enter the new hire information. And this is the new hire for whom the Okta account needs to be provisioned. So first, there are a couple of email addresses. First one will be the email ad address that is to be set up for the corporate account. This would be the company account. And then another email address, which is the personal email account of Jane. This is where the initial instructions for uh, account setup will be done. Once this is uh, uh, the data is entered into the issue, the user can uh, set up a workflow and this is the workflow on which the post function is set up uh, that calls our Okta integration. I'll show that in a second. But um, let me uh, first show Okta. I have a test Okta instance and if I refresh, obviously Jane will not be here. Um, now if I go back and uh, move the status to done, I should see the on work uh, status. It is set to success. And if I come to Okta and I refresh, I see now that the Jane Smith uh, account has been configured. And it also says that the status is currently pending user action. This is because our integration has created the Okta account. And now Okta is awaiting user action. If you recall, I provided gready at gmail.com as Jane's personal email account. And you will see that just now I received this email account, uh, email from Okta asking me to activate my account. So let me go ahead and do that. I can set up my password. And uh, I can do the two factor authentication later, but now, if I come back to Okta, let's see. Yep, it just took an additional second. The two-factor authentication can be done later. But now if you see, Jane Smith's status is active. So this is how we can configure Okta integration. And uh, quickly, if I go to the post function, is what we use to set up, I, I put it on the done transition. And if I click on edit, we have the Okta create user, the mapping, and we support both creating and deactivating user. And we also support provisioning and setting up of the user into various Okta groups. These are groups that are pulled from Okta directly. So as an administrator, I can set up which groups uh, a new hire should be part of. Mm -hmm.